Hey guys, uh, so I just wanted to show you how we can do this same thing in Python, how we can access the Strava API. So in order to get our activities, this is the get request that we need to construct. So let's just go over to Python and say, make a variable called activities URL and set it equal to that link right there. Now this access token does expire, but it's valid for now. So I'm just going to first demonstrate how we can get it to work. Um, so since this is a get request, uh, we need to use a library called request. So we're going to import requests. All right. Um, I'm going to copy this code that I have over here just to make it a little quicker. Now we need to supply it with a header, um, and what this header is going to be is our access token. So actually we're going to cut that and put this here. Alright, we don't need this. Okay, so we're giving it, we're telling it what that we want the header to be. And we're going to limit it to 200 responses. And request.get activities URL. And that's basically telling it what, you know, what to give it. So this should return the information that we're interested in. So if we run this, there we go. So if you remember, hello YouTube, that was what we just recorded on my phone. And it's the same thing as this. So that was pretty easy. Um, you know, it looks like 10 lines of code, we got that running. Now the only problem is here, this token um, is going to expire. So before we actually, th this was just to show you how we can get it working, but before we do this, we actually need to um, request the token using um, the refresh token request. So if we copy this, paste this, just for reference right now, what we're going to do is we need to use this and say, uh, let's call this variable auth uh, URL, paste that in there. Okay, so that's what we're going to request. Now we need to give it a payload. So since this is a, a post request, we need to give it um, some information in the form of JSON. So we're going to copy over, I'm going to copy from this other window I have, I'm just going to copy this information. So if you look at this, this um, is basically in Python how we can construct this, uh, this post request. So I'm just filling in here with my information, secret, let's put that here, refresh token. Now this refresh token doesn't expire, which is why we can continue to use this to get an updated access token. And type refresh token. Okay, so we can get rid of this. All right. So we have the payload. Now let's just print out something just to give us some info. And say requesting the token. And this is how we request the token. So similar to this request.get, we have this request.post. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the authorization URL and the data is the payload. So this is what we're going to post there and verify false. Not too sure what that does, but let's just let's just print out the response. So if we run this response is to okay, so this I've seen this before. This is unverified. It's just uh, it's a warning and if we if we want to get rid of it, we can import this. It's it's a harmless uh, warning, I think. <laughs> But if we just do that, this will get rid of that warning. 
All right, so that's good. So let's, uh, we got that 200 response, so let's just print the JSON out of it. Okay, so here we have our information. So in order to, what we're interested in is this access token. So what we just did was we used the refresh token that we know to get a, a new access token. So what I'm going to do is copy this. So I'm going to make a variable called a refresh token and set it equal to the JSON and then I'm going to strip out actually we don't want the refresh we want the um, access token so let's print requesting token um, uh, let's just say received now nah, let's just say access token equals and that'll be refresh token but actually I need to rename this <laughs> alright Let's give that a try. Okay. So, again, what we're doing is we're um, posting this. We're saying, hey, we have this refresh token. Get us whatever the access token is. So, if it's expired, get us, since we're providing you this refresh token, get us an access token. So, now we, we always have a, a, a way of getting this access token. So now that we have that, we can bring this code back in. So let's cut this. Let's just put this um, down here. So actually, let's just keep these URLs together. Activities URL. So basically, we're just going to, now we have the token, now we're going to use that token to make this request. So instead of using this, which is going to change in like six hours, we're going to throw in access token here. All right, and this is all the same. So now, if we print the data set, we should see that it works. So there we go, hello YouTube. And that is all of our information. Um, so let's just take a look at, let's just see what, what this is. It looks like it's a list. So if we just say type, let's figure out what this is. So we can display the information we're interested in here. So it is a list. So let's just get the first item. And it, if you remember, I only have one activity. So I'm just gonna say zero which should be my first activity. Okay, and now inside that list, it's a list of dictionaries. So now we can say, um, let's get the name, for example. Hello, YouTube. So let's see. What else are we interested in? So we could print the name and the type. Name. Type. Cool. So there's our information. Um, let me see how long this video is. It's nine minutes. There's one other thing I wanted to just introduce in this video, uh, and I, th I think I'll just show it quickly. Um, so what if we want to get the actual geometry, the position of this information, um, like the latitude long? So if you see here, we have starting latitude and starting longitude, and it, I guess we have ending somewhere, but we want 
this map here and it's a little bit confusing but if we type map we have this summary polyline so if I print summary polyline this is going to return this crazy code here um, now what this is this is like I think Google has this way of encoding um, coordinates so if I say Google um, encoded polyline I think if we paste this in here, um, encoded polyline, and hit enter, um, decode polyline, yes. So this is basically um, where I recorded it. And I was just sitting in my house, so it's all wacky. But what we can do is, this is... Um, we're, there's a way to see the here we go the latitude longitude um, basically this is just how um, Strava works it uses these encoded polylines so if you want to get the latitude longitude of every single like second we need to decode it and um, there are ways to do it in Python I'm gonna cover it in uh, a future video but there's a way to get all the latitude and longitude and once we have that we can turn those into shape files, for example, um, and do geospatial things like that. Um, so just that's a heads up for the future. I think think that'll make an interesting video. But for now, this is just the basics of getting it up and running. And, you know, it's, it's not too much code. Uh, and this will, this is a uh, way to keep it, keep getting the information. Um, your tokens aren't going to expire this way. So hope that was helpful. See ya.